Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speed Star reporting for the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the previous episode, we got Nairu's Wisdom and completed Nairu's Silent Realm, obtaining the Claw Shots. Which is the reference to Twilight Princess, I guess. Yeah, I like the design of Claw Shots more than uh, the Hook Shot. And why am I going this way? Anyway, in this episode, now that we got the claw shots, we can explore more of the Nairu Desert. You know, um, speaking of Nairu and all, uh, um, I've been thinking about it. I think Nairu might actually be my favorite of the three goddesses now. Because, uh, I don't know. For some reason, before I started this, I just wanted to look up and maybe talk about her a little. Actually, one thing I... What am I doing? Um... What I really want to do right now is I want to get around, because there's a... You know that... You know that target all the way, uh... All the way over... There? I guess you want to... I guess I could put it... Oh yeah, there's Goddess Cube over there too I want to get. I want to get. Yeah, um, yeah, speaking of, uh, Nairu... Actually, one thing I sh I've wondered is that how you actually pronounce the goddess of wisdom's name? Because uh, I don't know. I've looked around to see if I can find some uh, correct pronunciations. I'm not sure. I've I don't know. I just I first heard it said as Nairu in a I guess say a bit of a fan video I seen a long time ago, and it, I guess it just stuck with me. And that's just... I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, um... Yeah, some little, uh... Actually, before I get into Iron Further, I want to bring up a few things. Uh, you see, before I recorded this, after I got home from my vacation, uh... The only reason I didn't, like... I, uh, I basically uploaded the episodes while I was doing my V. While I was on my vacation uh, from home for a couple weeks, and yeah, I just... well, after I uploaded the last episode, I went. I basically got home. Actually, my my vacation was delayed uh, by. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, one more line. Let me My trip home was delayed by by a day because of a. Uh, because of a snowstorm that closed all the roads and by it to be honest the roads actually uh, reopened before uh <laughs> all right I'm, I'm i was actually trying to think more of lanairo before i started recording this so i'm having a hard time trying to talk about much else oh oh i forgot about that octorok <laughs> I... Well, if you have one thing on the brain, you tend to forget about everything else, but... Okay. Okay. Then ha half concentration, half trying to commentate. My bus trip was delayed because of a snowstorm. But by the time I learned that the roads had actually reopened, it was kind of too late for me to get to the bus, so... Uh, Luckily, my dad managed to at least keep calm enough, because he's got a bit of a shorter fuse than I do. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not really kidding about that. He's, uh, he's actually someone who can throw his controller. And that's not exactly a good trait. Oh, oh, good. I thought that mom was gonna hit me. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, when he gets mad, oh man. I don't want to get into anything for him. Yeah. After we got. After he at least got some sleep and he wasn't as frustrated, because he does. Kind of does, uh. He does stuff with uh, towing and repos for a living. 
why am I going into that? Anyway, yeah. Uh, I, I still managed to get home. I just got home a day later than I thought I would. But that was kind of okay, because, uh, yeah, I guess one more day couldn't hurt. It's alright. But yeah, when I got home, my room was being worked on while I was gone. I would have loved to work on myself, but, uh, well, myself, but I wanted to work, do a little work with it too, but I don't think I was, I don't think anyone wanted me to. And, okay, I'm, I'm just rambling. Anyway, when I was moving my dresser, I didn't know my, uh, gold Wii remote was inside. And, unfortunately, while we were trying to move the dresser, it tipped over and... My gold, my remote, and nunchuck slipped out, so... I'm not too sure if it's working that properly. I did do a quick test run just before I started recording, so... Everything seems to be working all right in the game. I tried out the uh, pointer controls and, and well, I think everything's working all right. I turned the uh, I turned the rumble off because it was kind of louder than it used to be. Um, yeah, yeah. So far, it's working all right. Okay, um, I think there's a... Uh, I think there's a... Yep, there's a gossip store here. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's... Anyway, yeah, I got my room pretty much set up. There's another evil crystal. Nice. Yep, got my room, room pretty much set up the way I want it now. Got my TV in a position where it's easy to, uh... Where it's further away, but it's easier to... It'll be easier to point now, because my TV was kind of closer than before. Yeah, there's plenty of bombs here if you want to use them. And... What's this? Ahead is Lanira Mine. It is there they solve the mystery of the time shift stones. Yeah, so, um, this area, the Lanairu Caves, is basically a, uh... say like a it's like a shortcut to some areas like here Lanairu mine and you go and you can go to other places as well uh, I'm sorry. Close and, uh, fall off anyway time to use my spider link skills to get around and check out where we can go. Yeah, this is just a shortcut to Lanairu Mine. And as you can see, it takes you basically to the start. So if there's anything you wanted to get up here, now you can get it. Oh. Oh. Oi. Oh, that was a sand cicada. I need one of those. Oh, I probably can't get it any more. Yeah, I'm just... I, I know I'm just wandering around and all, but... I do want to explore a bit, because you can explore a lot more. Plus, there's a treasure chest right up there. So, yeah, I'll just grab this. What do we get? Another evil crystal. That's good. At least I'm getting more of those. I kind of want to get some more of the ancient flowers and anything that I don't have right now. Uh, it's taking a little. Is that a sand? Is that a sand cicada right there? No, it's not. But is it? Ah, no, it's not there anymore. Alright, so, uh, okay, now that I got that done, I think I'll just cut back to the cave. Alright, so back here, uh, there is actually two more areas we can go to. There's also a chest here. I wonder, excuse me, can I go, can I open this place? Thank you. 
And this gets us a monster horn. I did need that for... No, I did need that to upgrade my... Uh, I think it was my shield before. Some Pokemons carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto it and pull with your whip, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Yeah, basically like the grappling hook in uh, Wind Waker. Uh, yeah. I'm almost done that one. I'm actually just trying to do the rest of it. Anyway, if you notice that, it says, Ahead is Lanairu Sand Sea, an area covered in an ocean of sand. There are lots of ancient ruins there. But, before we head there, let's talk to this guy. Ooh. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. Yeah, there's another Goron besides Gorko. That's good. At first glance, I was saying there was nothing in this area, but I know there's just something here. I'll just keep on looking. So your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say. That's the easiest name to say in the freaking world! And how about you, Link? Why are you here? You are looking for a sacred flame. That sounds like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Ooh. Sweet girl, I remember now. I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Lanairu Sand Sea. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to Lanairu Sand Sea if you just go straight through here. Which is basically just up there. But you also need the claw shots for. If you want to get to the Lanairu Sand Sea, you're going to need this key. Yeah, well, it's probably like the one time where you need a small key outside of a dungeon. Ooh. Hence why it says you can only use it in this area. Otherwise, it would have said you can only use it in this dungeon. Which would then depict that it can only be used in a dungeon. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Oh man. Um, personal note. I kind of love this area. This is Lenaru Sansi. This whole area is once a vast ocean. But the water has all the evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Yeah, personal note. I love the music here. I, I just do. So I think this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. Yeah, if you notice, there's still one more area of Lanairu de of the Lanairu region that we haven't explored yet, and we'll be getting into that much later in the game. This area operates on a new form of power. There's a 90% possibility that the Sacred Flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the Sand Sea. Well, of course we are! All new areas basically point to the Sacred Flame. But yeah, I just love the music. It, it's not like Ancient Sister Calm, but it's kind of, it's kind of got its own kind of calm. And below, no, there isn't. But yeah, as you get closer, the music will you'll hear more of the music. I think there's a sand cicada here, let me pull my bug now, did I... Nope, it's right... There... Gotcha! Two sand cicada! The larvae of these bugs stay in for ten years or longer. No bug is harder to catch. Well, that's pretty easy to catch. Yeah, sand cicadas. Wanted to grab those, and that'll basically complete my, uh... That'll basically complete my inventory of all the, uh, bugs and treasures in the game. Including, uh, quest items for Gratitude Crystal Quest, but anyway. anyway. enough of that. There is a goddess cube around here somewhere. Ooh, tumbleweed! Uh, excuse me, can I get my bug nano so I can get the tumbleweed? Where'd it go? Aw. Oh. Actually, before I grab the, go the goddess cube, uh, might as well activate this bird statue. Ancient Harbor. Yeah. Lenaru Sand Sea. This is probably my favorite area of the surface. I don't know. I don't know why. It just, it kind of is. Maybe it's because, like, it used to be an ocean. <laughs> get away from me. Get away from me. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that it used to be, like, an ocean. Or maybe it's because of the music. 
how it has a bit of a calm... I, I don't really know. It's hard to explain. Like a lot of things with me, because I have a hard time explaining stuff. It's just how I've been. Anyway, the goddess cube should be back here. Right there, and a whole bunch of... Arachis. Ugh. Maybe my favorite area, but that is basically my least favorite enemy. Because you encounter a lot of them, and they're very easy to defeat. And, yeah, they're just plain annoying. Okay, um... Oh, right, uh, I was gonna try and talk a bit about, about Nairu. Or, Nairu. Whatever. Nairu just feels more appropriate to me, so yeah. If it's not the correct pronunciation, I will switch to what it really is. But until then, I'm just gonna say it as Nairu. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got the Hyrule Historia right next to me. I figured I'd open it up while I was here. So Here's another Jishu. Nothing over here. Yeah, Nairu, uh... Yeah, I kind of thought of her like my favorite goss now, because, well, for one, you gotta think of her personality of sorts. Like, she contrasts Din by being calm and intellectual, or Din is supposed to be more uh, see now she's a dancer. She's more energetic. I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. So, plus, uh, for some reason, in the Hyrule Historia, Naira seems to have more the Oracle. I mean, but Naira seems to have more uh, more design sketches to her. I've actually got the page over there right now, uh, next to me. Yeah, she was originally supposed to be like a, uh, a painter. She's got like a few sketches show her with the... You know, that kind of board that has all the paints on it. I forget what that's called. And it's got, she's got a paintbrush. I don't know why. It just looks, looks, one of the sketches just looks so adorable. Uh, she's kind of fan for kind of fanboying a little. <laughs> okay, that, that sounded weird. Anyway, before I get into that, anyway, we're talking to himself the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nairu's flame. It was the day of the storm. We, my crew and I were navigating the seas as usual, and then those brutes. The pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after Nairu's flame. My crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. Surprising you didn't electrocute anything with those, uh... With those arms made of energy. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me wondering where my ship could be free. I bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding somewhere. You can't see it. Visible. In order to protect Nairo's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Cloaking devices. Only in the past. You say you're searching for Nairo's flames. Oh, so you need Nairo's flame to find someone important to you. Ah, oh, damn it, the phone's ringing. Eh, I don't know who it is, so I'm gonna let it ring. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Yeah. yeah, sorry, if I don't know who it is, I don't answer it. If you help me, then I guess I'll let you know. Yep, we'll help. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first, you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off? Let's go. Yeah, sorry about the phone ringing. Anyway, 
One other reason why I like Lunar's Fantasy is... You get to sail the sea like in... Phantom Hourglass. Not like Wind Waker, because, uh... Let's see if I have any... Press Control Stick to move, press A while moving to speed up, press B to ready the cannon, then press A to fire it. This is basically what it means by, uh... A reference to Phantom Hourglass, because you're... You're piloting the, uh, ship basically the same way you... You control... Linebeck's steamship. Steamboat, or whatever. So yeah, just start off. I've already set a course there. The time shift stone will make it so the area around you is always ocean. But even though, even when you do this, there will be enemies that will spawn. At some point, uh, basically what those, uh, I think they're called spumes. I f sort of forget a little bit. Yeah, if you want to move faster, there's also a bit of a stamina gauge for that, too. Yeah, you will encounter enemies while, uh, on the boat, so... Yeah, you... The cannon is basically your, uh, defense. Okay, so, uh, Skipper's Retreat. There are... There should be a goddess cube around here somewhere. Okay, so yeah, I'm just not gonna bother reading this text. We know what to do. Yeah, there are more monsters around, and he can't wander far from the boat because the time shifts Stone's temporal field, which will always remain active no matter no matter what. So if you activate another time shift stone, that one won't. Uh, Deactivate. So, anyway, yeah, back to Nairu. Yeah, she was really meant to be a painter. I was looking up on the wiki about her. about her because I don't know. We're in the we're in the Lanairu Desert, which is basically named after Nairu. Oh, and I'm just gonna throw. I'm just gonna move around and throw a bomb. I should probably grab a bomb bag. Yeah, uh, yeah, the area is meant to be named after Nairu, because all the areas are basically named after the corresponding goddess, Farron for Ferror and Elden for Din. Oh, why did you pull that out? But, yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, Nairu in that one of her old sketches, she's got this kind of cuteness that's... It's not like... Zelda... Zelda's kind of spunky, adventurous kind of cuteness. But, yeah, she's more calm and intellectual. Hence why she's... Why she's also known as the Goddess of Wisdom! Get away from me. It's gonna attack me while that... I... Okay. Yellow choo choos. I officially hate any others. Yeah, if you had a problem with uh, not having any bombs, you could use the beetle to uh, grab a bomb. And I got a jelly blob. Out of that. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Other. There are other sketches of Nairu that I'm looking at, uh, and after they... Ah! Darn it. I guess my plane wouldn't play the lava ladder. Get off me! Ugh. Great, when I'm having trouble like that, I know I'm rusty. Yeah, I'm looking... I was looking at a sketch of Nairu, uh... Yeah, so after they scrap the whole painter thing, uh... There's this other sketch with her, uh sort of current design. 
where instead of the harp, it looks like she has another instrument. She's playing with her hands. I, I want to say it's a cello, but she doesn't have the uh, stick or something. So, I don't know. Is it like the... Yeah, was it meant to be like a uh, guitar? I don't know. It kind of might be a little weird. But yeah, it kind of had the same design as the uh, Harp of Ages in a way. It does kind of look fitting for her. Oh man, oh man, I do not like this. This is the other kind of Moblin, the Metal Shield. You cannot break this shield. But, what you can do is climb over it if you run. If you run at it and then you can jump over. So anyway, what you have to do... Is not get hit. Jump over and slash his butt. Slash his butt. Slash his butt till he dies. I don't know if that's like a glitch or anything, but that's really helpful. And there's Quadro right there. Okay, I saw there was a yeah goddess cube right over there. Ah, I see what I need to do. First, I'm gonna open up this chest. Check my time. Got 27 minutes. Some cuts. It didn't take me that long to get back to the one iron case from where it was, so... Uh, okay, let me get a little closer... really have to stretch out the, uh... Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, while you're holding on some... While holding on to these... onto vines or anything, you can use the claw shots to, uh, move around. And that's basically how you get this goddess cube. No, the motion control is still right. Still right, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah, when I did have that accident with my dresser, I was, just, I kind of felt like my, uh, my gold remote nunchuck weren't working anymore. Thankfully, the only real damage is basically just a, uh, a bit of a scratch on the nunchuck. As long as it doesn't like hinder gameplay, then it's all right. It's sort of excusable. Not exactly, uh... Okay, there's a furnace here. And, consider we're not in a time shift stone area. Die, please. Again, they're basically inspired by phoenixes, so I can't believe they die so easy. Then again, if they were basically like phoenixes, then uh, they wouldn't die. Although they do respawn, but uh, basically all enemies do. Okay, now I just gotta hang here, wait till we get close enough to that claw shot target. It's good to know that the pointer still works alright. Again, I'm not too sure about the rumble, so yeah, I turned that off. And there's Gerudo Dragonflies here. I, if I can just hop down, I can let them get away. Well, they're not important right now, but there's... Where's that Phoenix? I know I heard flapping. Oh, oh no! Damn, I respawned on there. Okay. Now, you're gonna want to use the beetle here, because if you see that little patch of grass, there's a Deku Baba. Just chug right through, and that should do it. Mm. Oh, wait. I oh, no, wait. Phoenix is right up there. I see him. I am so not gonna like this, considering I have two to deal with. Oh! Oh! Oh, friendly fireworks. Almost kind of literally friendly fire. But yeah, I never really, uh... I never really saw what... 
fern the Fernix attacking was like, because I always defeated them so quickly. Uh, Okay, you stupid pee hat. Yeah, that's with these. Oh my god, the phone's ringing. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, man. I hate it when I have to bring the phone into my room. But whenever there's no one else here, I have to have a phone in case I have to answer any calls. Kind of makes me feel good. I don't know. There's something about that. To I don't know, something about having to answer calls for everyone that just kind of makes me feel like that's all I'm good for. That's basically the only thing I do when I'm alone, other than, other than basically uh, just doing my LPs. Oh yeah, speaking of, uh, speaking of, I kind of have chosen what my next LP is. I'm not too sure yet, but... I am thinking of doing Super Mario 3 D World after this. It won't be a blind one like New Super Luigi U. Or semi-blind in that, for that case. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it like cause I Yeah. You've probably all heard the news about who is gonna be in it. There's a couple emeralds right there. Yeah. You could say that was my motivation for uh, choosing to do 3D World, because there is a certain character I really like in the Mario series that is actually playable for once. So yeah, there's just stuff here. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? Well, actually, I'm just checking around more, because, uh, I don't totally remember. But I think it, I guess it is in the treasure chest and all, but there is some other stuff here. <laughs> like, there's, well, if you look up there, there's something. I don't think you can use your claw shots in here, can you? Well, you can, but when you get up here... See anything you can do, really? Yeah, it's kind of pointless, really. Yeah, we open this up. Really, goes. you get the ancient sea chart. This old map details the area as it was long ago before the sea succumbed to the desert sand. And now that we have this, now that we have this, we're able to uh, explore. More of the Lonaira Sansi. If, if you notice, if you notice these pictures here, this uh, shows what their ship is like. Uh, the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. Yeah, we're pretty sure about that. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Well, there are some people who like being at sea, there's some people who probably don't. You really shouldn't open other people's covers without permission. Well, the scammer can't really come in here now, can he? But there's nothing really... ...that you can get. Yeah, um... So, in all, commentary was not... ...not totally like what I was hoping for. To be honest, I kind of wanted to, uh... Talk more about Nairu and such. But I guess I just couldn't think of much else to think about. So, yeah, that's just a quick way down. It, and it's only a one way trip down, so yeah, if you want to go back up there, you have to go up the long way. At least I think so. Anyway, um. Yeah, I'm at 36 minutes on cuts. So, I think this might be a good time to end the episode. So, uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, hold on, let me pull up my map. Uh, no, I can't do anything yet. Anyway, 
we're going to explore more of the Lonairus Hansi and figure out clues as to where the ship contained Nairus Flame is. So, yeah, this is Matt the Speed Star, signing off.